Hey guys and welcome back to this Newcastle FIFA 20 career mode where since up in the sliders we've struggled a little bit but games have been super uber realistic and I'm actually enjoying it a hell of a lot more. If you need a reminder of what the league table looks like, there it is, we're sat in 8th position. We've got Chelsea in the first game of this episode so that is definitely, definitely not going to be an easy game. We're in January, Dubravka is still here. There have been some player departures, so we have got a little bit more money to spend. As you can see, I've got a number of emails here. Player chats, not interested in talking to Dubravka or Jack Cole back at the moment. But Christian Atsu has gone to Espanyol, so 3 million has been added to the budget. Dummett went for 8.3 million to Crystal Palace, adding a further 6 mil to the budget. We then got some prize money for the FA Cup, which I'd rather not go into. And Daniel Marlin is out for 5 days with a bruised shoulder. Interesting. Let's roll. Chelsea. Oh, the boy, the boy. The man, the myth, the legend. Done. Not even questioning it. Alvaro Vidio. Bosch. We're going in for the man, the myth, the legend. It's Alvaro Vidio on a free transfer, pre contract. He wants 28 grand a week. And a little cheeky signing bonus. The bonus is quite a lot, actually, for five games. I don't mind that signing bonus, but it's this that I can't deal with. You can have that after 15. Bosch. Is he going to join? Yes, he is. Alvaro Vidio. Here we go. At St. James's. Chelsea at home. This is going to be a toughie. Third in the league. Sliders are on. Aspas is the captain. I forgot about that. And remember, we had it in the bag at the bridge. But Dubravka messed up twice, if I remember rightly. Twice in the same game. Here's the starting 11. Obviously, there is an injury to Marlin, which is a big loss for this one. Um, but Dwight McNeil comes in on the left, goal in, and starts up top. Shelby and Matty Longstaff will be the midfield pair. And it's a 4-3-3 for Chelsea with Pulisic, Aspas and Willian. Kovacic, Kante and Jorginho behind them. Kepa in sticks. Rudiger, Orban, Almeria and Alonso at the back. That's a good ball. Willian's got pace. Danny Rose... And they clash in the Battle of the Bridge, those two. Nathan Acker heads the ball away, doesn't go very far. Jorginho back out to Willian. Right, McNeil blocks the first cross. Jorginho gets it, tries to cross it a second time. And Lazaro will head this one clear. I can imagine we're going to be under a fair bit of pressure today. Although Jesse Lingard has done really well to get away from N'Golo Kante here. He finds Joel Linton who gets away from Rudiger but turns back into him. That was, that was an error. I don't think he realised he was away. Aspas, that's a hell of a ball at the other end. William bearing down on goal. Oh, he's done Ake. Chelsea coming forward. They've got men over. Pulisic. Dubravka with the save. Dubravka with the heroics for a change. Get out. Get out. Get out. And again. Out, out, out. Deflection. Dubravka with the save again. And we'll concede another corner. That's fine. That's fine. Corner whipped in, head of the way, up in the air, Dubravka. Thank you, good goalkeeping, that's better. He's been clattered. I'd like to think the ref would have blown up for a foul should uh, anything have happened there, but I guess we'll never know. How long is Marlon out for? Five days, mate, so it's not a long one. Lazaro pins the ball over the top. Look who's made the little run. Almiron, Rudiger staying with him. Rudiger's been turned. Alonso, we know can't cope. Ball is played inside, Lingard! Oh, he's not made the keeper! We lead. Fans go wild. It's Jesse Lingard back amongst the goals. It's the first one for a while from Lingard. I've missed doing that. It's been a while. What a cheeky little finish. Hopefully Lingard can find the sort of form that he showed when we signed him. Cheeky nutmeg. I love it. Or maybe he's just putting himself in the shop window. A lot of you wanted to sell him in Jan and we can't. Here is William. I'm going to put it into the box. Comes in now. Oh, the header from Jorginho caught me out, really. He just beat Nathan Ake to the ball. Dubravka was alert, though. It's like the third or fourth save he's made in this game. I don't want to jinx it, but he's doing all right. Alonso, good luck. Good luck catching Almiron. Tearing Chelsea apart here. Almiron, as we know, is left footed. Takes it on his stronger left foot. Cuts back. Oh, that's pathetic. I wanted to do what I did in the last game. You know, you cut back and whip it in. Didn't happen. Lingard, go. I'm not sure about that, Rona. I'm not sure, my man, but we can get him there. Here he is again, looking for an assist. Ooh, nearly got it. Take it off him. Take it off Alonso. He don't look comfortable at the back there. No Chelsea player looks comfortable at the back there. Well, they've played their way out really, really well there. 
Thought we were going to force a mistake. Thought we were going to get a throw in. Thought something was going to happen. Not a Chelsea attack. Bosh. Chelsea attack is over. Big tackle goes in. Jay Lings. Ah, get there. Shouldn't have played a through ball there, should I? That's a hell of a pass, by the way. Willian. Danny Rose trying to catch him. And done by Cruyff turn. Willian hasn't really got anywhere, though. Lays the ball back. We get it off him. Willian. We okay. Says no. Don't mess this up. Matty Longstaff switches play to the left. That's good. Little touch from Dwight McNeil. Danny Rose takes over. Dwight McNeil continues his forward run. Go on, boy. You're on your left foot. Sees Joel Linton. Touch. Wallop. Ah, Kepa. Wasn't quite the finish we were looking for. Out. Oh, good touch. Half time whistle goes. So far, so good. We've got the lead here. Thanks to Jay Lings, of all people. I know you cringe when I call him Jay Lings, but it's Jay Lings. He's there. Out, out, out. Clear it. I was going to head that. Oh my god, Toblerone, 50p head. Dubravka. I've never seen a header go that high. Don't know about you guys. Jeez. Oh, what a ball that is. Pulisic could be in here. Lazaro has been turned. He's got back there. Well, Kovacic. Dubravka with the save. The clearance was a poor one. We gave it straight back to Chelsea. Got to smash Alonso. Oh, Nedia, thanks, mate. Appreciate the follow as well. We stream every day, every single day. So hopefully we'll catch you in the next one. Wow. Dubravka. Who is this guy? That was hit with some venom. Or, oh, imagine in fact deflected. Could have easily have come off Lascelles. Kovacic whips it in. Oh, Lascelles, that's big. Ingard's lost it. Oh, Linton, that's big. We're defending bravely. Don't give any pens away or anything like that. Just stand them up. Force them wide. Kante. Good defending. Ake. What are you doing with it? You're getting it in a mess. What's the ref giving? Offside. Fine. Cool. Happy with that. It's Chelsea's midfield that are absolutely shitting all over us. We've got Kante, Kovacic from Jorginho. And they're just knocking the ball around us. And then we're doing all right when it's not in their midfield. hudson Adoy, What a turn, by the way. Nathan Ake coming across. He's already been booked, so I have to be a bit careful here. Jorginho knocks it inside. Kante takes over. Uh, oh, deflection. The panic. Oh, Oli. Legend, Marshy. Appreciate that, dude. Corner comes in. That's a training ground routine. Dubravka. My boy. Love him. Come on, keep going, Lazaro. Oh, that's brilliant. Alonso didn't know what to do. Lazaro's in. It was literally a carbon copy of what happened in the first game, by the way. Although the ref didn't give it this time. And I don't know how. Who's Pedro? If Chelsea got the other end and equalised, I'd be angry. Dubravka! Out, 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 out. Dubravka! Chelsea are pushing and pushing and pushing. And we are just desperately holding on. I've made no changes yet because I just don't know what to change. I don't want to disrupt it. We're actually defending okay. Here's Lingard. Probably half of you want him taken off. McNeil, 1-2. Go on. Go on, Dwight. Dwight McNeil. This could seal it. Dwight McNeil on his left foot. Oh, he skied it. Oh, no. No, no, no. Pedro crosses it in. Well defended again. Long stuff. Oh, this is good. Now we've got a chance. It's Dwight McNeil again, but he's being chased by Angolo Kante, who is a lot quicker, and he's got the strength to just knock Dwight McNeil away from the ball. But Longstaff, look at that. Oh, Joel Linton, teach me. Oh, no, I'm taking it off you. Into stoppage time, of which there'll be three minutes. Just take Pedro out. Free kick there would be fine. Tempted just to commit a real... Oh, I don't need to when Alonso's on the ball, do we? We don't need to when Alonso's on the ball. Chip it in the corner, chase after it. That'll do. That'll do. There's no danger to us there. We're going to get a victory here, lads. It's going to be incredible. Keep it in the corner. Just let fly. That's it. That's time. Ref. Big victory. Big victory. It's come against Chelsea as well, and I was not expecting that. Ooh! 
Right, the geezer's put in the best performance of his life. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden, Inter Milango will have him. If we got that Dubravka every week to perform like that, I'd have no issues. He can stay. But we've received a £16 million bid from Inter. What do you think? Sell, sell him now, sell him, sell him now. Look at the chairman message, by the way. Do we renegotiate? Do we renegotiate? Get 20 mil. I drive in there myself. <laughs> so will I. I'll order him an Uber. Get an Anna. Sell, 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 sell. Try to get 20 mil, yeah? He's 31. Negotiate. Sitting down with the representative. They want to sign Dubravka for 16. Can we agree on that? I mean, I would, but I want more money out of you. Right, let's go 22. Please, please, please give me 22. Please, please. That's an extra six mil. Please, 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 please. 17 and a half, they've said. So they've come up a little bit. There's 20 mil to be got at here, I think. We can get 20. 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20. 19.4. I'm accepting it. Let's get the deal done. Dubravka's off. We can now start our search for a new goalkeeper, knowing that we're going to have a decent budget now. Come on, boys. Right. So Mere is the guy that everybody wants. The guy that everybody suggests. I don't know how much he's worth, but we're going to go in for him. We're starting with a cheeky offer of 12 million. I will happily pay a bit more than that if need be to get him in, because obviously we need a keeper. But we're going by recommendations in the chat here. I'm going to go 14 and a half next offer and see if we can just reach an agreement. I've only got a budget of 17 at the moment because Dubravka hasn't actually sold yet. So we've just gone in 17. It's pretty much our entire budget at this stage, but we need a keeper. They're going to take some time to think about it, which basically means they're going to go away, come back, say no, and ask for 20 again. Pretty sure, but we'll see what happens. FC Bayern. Ooh. Another team want Dubravka. We've got some competition now, boys. We can probably negotiate with them. Surely he'd go to Bayern over Inter. So maybe we can ask for some more Moolah. Now, we've already received a bid we're happy with from Dubravka, so we can bargain high here. We're asking Bayern Munich to pay 24.5 million. And they've done it. 24.5 million. They didn't even think about it. They want their man. We want their money. Simple. We've reviewed your offer. We accept the conditions. So Alex Merritt. This is brilliant. This is absolutely brilliant because we're going to get more money and a better goalkeeper in the long term. I'm happy with this. We can negotiate with him. They want 26 and a half a week, that's fine. They want a signing bonus of that and 175 after five clean sheets. That'll take two seasons. So yeah, I'm absolutely okay with all of the above. I know we could probably negotiate. Apparently we haven't got the budget to do it, which is killing it. Which is absolutely killing it because Dubravka hasn't gone yet. I mean, we're, we're bartering over peanuts here. Have we got more than a week left of the window? I, that game was on the 19th of Jan, so maybe. Maybe. Just end it. All right, let's end it. No Milan. No Milan. John Joshua. That was like the Wombles. No Milan. Free. Right, no. Absolutely no. Milan and Wolves coming in for Shelby. Shelby's not for sale, guys. Sorry. Here we go. Goodison Park. A ground that I love to visit in real life and hate to visit on FIFA and PES. And results don't always go my way in real life either. I've been there like four or five times. One of my most visited away grounds and I very rarely come away from there. Happy. I think I did one year when Pedro scored an absolute banger, but usually a miserable journey back down south. But ever in a way it is. Richarlis and the main man that we need to stop. That's the starting eleven. St. Maximum comes back in. Dwight McNeil has a little breather. Lingard is going to keep his place. Weston McKenney comes in. Marlon back on the bench after recovering from his injury. And Willems at uh, left back. 4 4 2 for Everton. Pretty standard. Moise Keane and Richarlison is going to be the uh, the front pair. And the pace of Bernard and the creativity of Gilfie Sigurdsson is something else that we're going to need to watch out for. That's a hell of a ball. Key. That'll do. Oh, Dubravka. Right, now someone wants you. You're going back to being shit again. Less of that. That was dangerous. Oh, I'll make the relief when we, we get another keeper in. It'll be unbelievable. Here's Joel Linton. Almiron making a run. Cuts inside. Touch was a bit loose. Joel Linton. Almiron. 
inside. Go on, Lingard. Back to John Joe, who is a wanted man. If skills moves like that, it's no surprise. Keen. Runs Diallo. Svensson on the move for Everton. On the right hand side. Twisting, turning. That's a hell of a ball. Delft joins the attack. Turns his man. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. Oh, Dubravka. He's on. He needs a drugs test. He's on steroids, for sure. Almiron. Back inside to Weston McKenney. Almiron keeps going. Overhit the pass because Almiron will get there, surely. Here he is. There's the. Oh, ref. That's a foul. We'll take the corner, though. See if we can make something from the set piece. It's down to Shelby to put a good ball in. He's done that. Pickford kind of got something on it. A bit too close to the keeper. St. Maximin will take over. Little McGeady spin. Wrestles off the attentions of Richarlison. Stands the ball into the mixer. Anyone attacking it? Not in a, not in a black and white striped shirt. And Keane, what are you doing? Prime example of why strikers shouldn't come back and defend. Willems. Shelby. Into the feet of Goal Linton. That was a sluggish looking turn. Kenny, that was naughty. Charleston's on the move. I've got to follow him. I've got to follow him. It's just Lascelles back here on his own. Oh, mate. They've done me. They've absolutely done me. It's Diallo who's come up and scored. Everton lead. Wicked, wicked, wicked counter-attack. Bugger. Good awareness. Good awareness just to cut that back. Not sure what Aki was doing. Or Dubravka, for that matter. Brought him out slightly, but he just takes, like... Six years to get back on his line. We slid way too early. It's a maximum. Ah. Everton is so hard to play, man. So hard to play. Just beat Chelsea for fuck's sake. Alright, Jay Lings. Go on, boy. Hold off. Hold off your man. You want another goal today, don't you? Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. Oh. You've got to put them away. Here we go. Counter-attack could be on here. St. Maximum. Go inside. Big switch. Almiron. Pick it up. He needs a bit of support, though. It's arriving now in the form of Lingard. Lingard looks to switch it through to Joel Linton. Joel Linton back to Lingard. Touch. Oh, it's awful. The touch was awful. That was a real chance. That's two for Lingard in this game. Charleston. Chance for Everton to double their lead in the first half. Oh, Dubravka, at least he held it. I was panicking a little bit there. Maybe one last chance for us to equalise before the break. They're sitting very deep in midfield, Everton. How have you outmuscled Joel Linton? You're guilty Sigurdsson, man. The fourth official has indicated there will be a minimum of two minutes. Boom. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Kenny. Into feet. Almiron. Go. Go. Corner, corner, last chance. We're into like added time of added time. Needs to be a good delivery. Let's get a bit more height on it. We have back stick. Lascelles is there. Heads it down. McKenney saved by Pickford. At oh my god, we couldn't bundle it in. Half time whistle goes. That's a good ball. Joel Linton, Jay Lings. Oh, he's been taken out from behind. That is brutal, man. They're, they're afraid of Jay Lings. It's Delph that's absolutely munched him. Former City man takes down former United man. Try and get this up, down and around the wall on that side, on the outside of his foot. Anyone can. Shelby can. It's a decent effort. Bring on Marlin. Bit early. Corner. Okay. Oh, they've beaten to it. Willems. Marlin's really injured still. Here's Almiron. What a venomous hit. Out of nowhere. Schneidlin. Here's Keane. Nice keen, chips it over the top. Diallo. Nah, 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 mate. Block it. Everton slip passing. Svensson. Oh, Ake. It's big interception. That one was a big block from Lascelles. Need to get it away. McKenney dives in. No penalty. I thought that was a foul, personally, but I'm not going to complain. Shelby, look at Willems by the way. Kind of want that to be the other way around. St. Maximum finds Lingard. 
Lingard. Oh, wow. Schneidlin. That's a nice turn. Schneidlin again. No, no, no. That would be game. Struggling to get any kind of possession. Everton still look like they're coming forward. Normally teams like they're really defensive. Oh, Richarlison's effort hit Lazaro. I don't think he knew much about it. McNeil. Shelby. Oh, mate. Gilfie's running things. He's turned into the world's best CDM in this game. Schneidlin. Would have been game over. Lazaro knocks it inside. Here's Almiron, I think. He turns around and looks at the ball. Marlin. Oh, that's a nice turn. And he's got away from his man as well. Might be injured, but he's probably our biggest threat. Almiron. Lazaro. Almiron. Dwight McNeil. Why did he take that? He wanted to take that with his left. I know he's left footed anyway, but the angle wasn't there. Should have opened my body up and finessed it maybe. Anyway, corner. Shelby takes. The cells at the back stick. Ball drops loose. Dwight McNeil heads it down. There's no one in front of Pickford. That's twice. We've caused Everton problems from set pieces and not been able to capitalise on the opportunity. Deep into added time. I think the game is Everton's, lads. I think the game is Everton's. Charleston, that's, that's big. Big play. Done wonders. That's a really good move. They actually deserve a goal at the end of this. They were heading that down. They would have attacked it. Full time whistle goes at Goodison. I hate coming here. Everton won Newcastle nil. Insane. Right, before we go any further, we are going to end that episode there. I am going to take a quick look at the standings for the Premier League because in the next episode, it's going to be like a deadline day special and I want as many people involved as possible. Dubravka is literally on the brink of leaving the club for Bayern Munich for 20-something million, which will be added to our budget. I just wanted to see what that notification was. Mere is there. We don't currently have the wage budget to offer him a deal, but 17 million is the agreed fee. We had to pull out, but when Dubravka's gone, we'll have the ability to do it again. Anyway, as I was showing you, Premier League table, let's get there. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. We need a new keeper desperately. Desperately, desperately, desperately need a new keeper. Ideally, someone young that can play for a couple of seasons. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments. That's where the table looks. Good win at Chelsea. Didn't back it up at Goodison Park, which is a real shame. You can see there is now a big gap actually between ourselves and the top six. Seven points separating us and Man U. That is not ideal. Down at the bottom, it's Southampton, Villa and Sheffield United that are in the relegation zone. So that kind of sucks for them. But yes, deadline day special coming up next. Let me know all your thoughts on how we can better the squad, who we can sign, who we can sell in the comments down below. Thanks for being here. Drop a like and follow me on all socials and I'll see you in the next one.